In this video I'll show you how you can set up email filtering to reduce or even eliminate spam and junk from your email with a few simple clicks. First you'll need to go to Smartermail and log into your account. After you've logged in, click on the settings icon in the toolbar and then click on the filtering expander symbol in the Qi menu on the left. First thing to look at is the spam filtering section. The first thing you'll notice is that the default spam settings are selected. To see what these actually mean, click on the actions tab. This section explains that the low probability of an email coming into your inbox as being spam will simply add the word spam to the subject line, but it will still send it to your inbox for identifying purposes. The next level is medium probability and that will send the message to the junk folder and the highest possibility of a message being spam is currently deleted altogether. Now these can be left as they are if they're working for you but should you feel that you wish to change these default settings go back to the options tab and click on override. Once you select this option the action section now changes and you can choose an action more suitable for your needs. So click on the actions tab and we can see that no action is being taken on any of the probabilities of an email being spam. But to simply change those choices click on the drop down menu and make your choices accordingly. So you might want to move them all to the junk folder to begin with and just add a message to the subject line for email that gets through for identifying purposes. But whatever your choices, once you're happy, be sure to click on the save icon to keep them. For more specific spam filtering, you'll want to turn your attention to the content filtering on the menu tree. Under content filtering, you'll be able to apply any number of rules to incoming mail and have an action carried out on those rules uh, that you see fit. So as you can see, we currently don't have any content filtering on this email account. So we go up to the toolbar and click New. And from the content filtering choices, choose any or more than one from the options available, such as subject, uh, address, email header, any that you feel appropriate. Let's choose subject or body text. Then click the next button. Choose from the options of or and tick the wildcard checkbox. And then add the words or phrases in the text box that will be recognized as spam words. Now I've, I've already got a few so I will just copy and paste those in. If I just extend that box a little bit you can see. It is important that you add just one per line. So it can be a phrase but one per line. Then click next. Now give the filter a name such as spam blocker and then choose an action for the filter to take when it encounters any of the words that you have entered into your list. You would normally just have it set to delete but you can set it to prefix the email subject with a term that you recognize such as my spam, ticking this box and entering my spam in the subject line. What this option does is allow the email still to be sent to you but it will be flagged as potential spam. The idea here is that you then monitor your email for a few days or a couple of weeks to make sure the spam filter is spotting and highlighting correct messages so you don't lose any legitimate emails to the filter. Once you are happy after a few days the filter is correctly identifying spam you can come back to the filter and change the action to delete. I'm going to do that now though because I'm fairly happy that the words contained in my filter are going to represent spam message. So choose delete and then click save. That will now stop emails coming through to my account that contain those words. Over a period of time you might find that other words and other spam are getting through to your inbox and you should come back to Smarter Mail and edit this spam rule to include those extra words. Click the edit in the toolbar 
and just follow through the next until you see the text area where you can enter more words at any time and simply click the next icon and then save so you don't have to create a new spam filter every time when you start seeing messages appear with a theme or word or even an IP address you can come back into your filtering edit the rule and you'll instantly stop uh, that new spam coming through. Once you have created your spam filters don't forget to log out by clicking on the log out link in the top right corner. And there you have it. That's how to reduce or even eliminate spam coming into your email.